Hey guys, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. Today is a special day for more than one reason. First of all, Merry Christmas. Have a nice time, enjoy yourselves and all that good stuff. The second reason is this is our first Q&A video. Damn! Let us know if you enjoy this and uh, when I have a follow-up, we're more than happy to do it. Let's get into the questions. First one is from uh, someone, there's no way I can read Greek letters, so I'm very sorry. How can we set up the Floyd Rose, a Floyd Rose loaded guitar in detuning 425 hertz? I'm not sure about the 425 hertz, uh, that's like unusually low. If you find a tuner that does it, you can tune up your guitar th that way and then go one step lower for detuning or drop the E string for drop detuning. Anyways, you will have to do the same thing which you will learn in our Float Rose setup video. The video is going to be linked in the description box. You can check it out. Whichever tuning you choose and whichever string gauge you're using, you'll do exactly the same thing. You'll just have to adjust accordingly. Next one is from Mel Barion from Aubachtal. Good name. <laughs> it's about the Evertune Bridge. I don't get it. How to play, for example, Walk by Pantera with this. Tuning every string to the edge seems Pretty pointless to me. Better to stay with my Tom Bridge and locking tuners on my Warlock. Just my personal taste. Of course, every tune bridges are very special. It's for those people who want to record and want to make sure their guitar is in tune all the time, don't want to mess around and waste time with tuning. For those people who want tasty, bendy riffs or play with less distortion and want to have all these uh, fine little uh, vibratos and everything, it's not the best bridge type obviously, but it's a very nice tool if you know how to use it and use it in the right songs with the right kind of um, attitude. Robbie Duffy. Hi, quick question. I've just cleaned my Telecaster maple fingerboard with the F1 Nomad oil, so can I now use the Dunlop lemon oil to finish it off with? Well, sort of. You can use it. That's the, the Dunlop lemon oil. You can use it, but it's pointless really because uh, these oils are made for unfinished wood surfaces. If you have a maple fingerboard on your Fender, Tally, Strat, whichever, those are all finished. There's all poly or nitro on it, depending on being a custom shop or a normal production model from whichever country and factory it comes from. It's always finished. You, so you don't have to put any oil on it. If it's like high gloss, you can put polish on it and use a, a simple towel or cloth. Or you can of course use a slightly moist cloth without any chemicals. It's also going to work. If you really want to use uh, some sort of an oil, uh, the Dr. Duck's uh, X-Wax is a pretty cool um, thing to use. It is an oil, but it's also sort of um, a cleaner for metal parts, for finished surfaces as well. You don't have to use these things, but if you want to use any sort of an oil, I think this is the best uh, product. Next one is from Arvid Nielsen. Picking up a package from Toman tomorrow with a bunch of tools, inspired and emboldened by these videos. And of course, a JHS Series 3 pedal. Arvid and everyone else, thanks for all the love and all the support in the comment sections. This is actually a shout out to each and every of you. We love doing these videos. It's a lot of work and it's really cold in this room right now, <laughs> but it's just you guys inspire us on so many levels and it's so cool to see all the comments and all the questions and of course all the uh, compliments and even critique. ER had a question. I have a pale moon ebony fretboard on my mayonnaise. I'm really nervous about darkening the fretboard. I have Dr. Ducks, this one, but I'm scared. Are you sure it will be okay? Well, this is what they claim that it doesn't darken wood, like a really bright maple and all uh, these really bright wood. You can use the Dr. Ducks X-Wax, but if you really wanna make sure that the fretboard doesn't get any darker, you can use the Big Bands Fretboard Juice, which is completely transparent and you're total safe if you use that. All right, these are two interesting comments. These came under the uh, sitar buzz repair video we did. Dennis Boom Boo wanted to know um, if this kind of problem can occur on a guitar with Floyd Rose, which means that you have the locking knot. Is that still possible to have the sitar buzz with a locking knot? And right under it, Avnet Rosenstein uh, says like, or asks, uh, what if you have this sound, the sitar buzz sound, on the high E string with the or original Floyd Rose? 
it's only with the string open, which means that it's actually the knot. It's exactly the problem I was talking about in the video. Uh, please check it out if you want to learn how to get rid of it. Apparently, it is a thing with locking knots, which means for guitars with plurals bridges. It's not very common, and if it happens, it's not very awesome. You could do one thing to sort of figure out if it's the locking part of the locking knot or the bass plate that causes this buzz. You can swap. You, you will have three of these locking little thingies. You can swap like the middle one and the one at the high E string to see if that's the problem, if that causes the problem. If it goes away, then it's just this little piece that you have to order for your guitar. If the buzz doesn't go away, even if you swapped the locking parts, the upper parts of the knot, then it's gonna be the bass plate of the knot. It might be just too low, or maybe there's something going on with it. If you cannot figure that out yourself, it's okay, it's a little complicated, maybe visit a guitar tech. Next one is from Guy Likes Guitar. This is still about the Evertune Bridge. Hi Chris, I have a question. Would it be stupid Doppelt gemobbelt, which means too much trouble for something, to put some locking tuners on a guitar with an Evertune bridge. Yes, it's pointless, pretty much, because if you want to be in this green zone of the Evertune bridge, that zone where its effect is as it's, uh, at its maximum, um, you will have to have more than just a half a turn on the tuning peg, which means it's pointless to use a locking tuner because you have the benefits of having the locking tuner if you don't overdo the turns. You just have half a turn, you have maximum tuning stability. But because of this effect, you will have to turn that tuning peg way more, and then what's the point? So um, it doesn't change anything. You don't have to worry about a locking tuner on an Evertune bridge guitar. Jay Leonard too had a message to me, to us. <laughs> no hate, but can you lose the wallpaper in your video room, please? Smiley. Working on it. The last one is from, oh my God, it's the blind kid. <laughs> I have a question. My guitar keeps buzzing and echoing when I play a fret. I am a beginner and I don't know why. This is a good question actually. And the problem is that it's impossible for me to tell what exactly is going on with your guitar uh, or with that fret because I don't have your guitar in my hand. This could have a thousand different reasons. First of all, if it's just that one note, that one fret, it could be that the fret is too high or too low and that causes the buzz. Um, it could also be the setup of the whole guitar. Uh, please follow all the uh, steps I mentioned in my setup videos. Uh, we have a couple of them, you'll find them in the description box and on the playlist, on the Guitar Tech Tips playlist. It's very useful. If you follow those steps, your guitar should be fine unless there's something out of the ordinary, something really weird going on with the neck of the guitar. If you have someone who has quite some experience, your guitar teacher, uh, I don't know, one of your parents, your buddies, whoever plays guitar for a longer time and knows a few things about guitars and setups, please ask them. Best would be, of course, a guitar tech, but I know it's not always easy to find one in the near. All right, guys, thanks again for all the awesome questions and comments and all the interaction going on. We really appreciate you being around. You guys have a beautiful time. Happy holidays and uh, take care of each other. Love each other and we'll see each other next week. Bye bye. So it could have a thousand fishing net reasons. <laughs> First try! First try! Damn! It could be the setup. Uh, no, 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 no